Hi, welcome to our session on Trust Cloud More about trusting and less ubiquitous data encryption. My name is Ilsan Lee, and along with me, I have Manoush Saburi and York Schneider. And to um, introduce ourselves a little bit more, I'm a senior product manager that works on the cloud key management side. And Anoush is a product manager that works on the zero trust and confidential computing. And we're, we're very lucky to have York Schneider, who's a director of cryptography and engineering and solutions for Deutsche Bank. Now, today we'll talk a little bit about the motivation behind this talk. And this is gonna to touch upon a topic that we call the trust paradox, and then talk a little bit about how it works and then provide a demo and then do a call to action after that. So first let's talk about the motivation. So we've been thinking about this problem for a while and the problem essentially is, how do I verifiably protect my data from non-authorized access while still being able to store and process it in the cloud? So I'm sure a lot of you have already been thinking about this, where you want to take advantage of the power of the cloud. You want to be able to use it for all your, for all the, the elasticity and the storage and the compute power. But there may be some cases where the, the trust issue may become a problem where you have to rely upon Google or any other cloud provider to actually secure your data and secure the networks and make sure that there's no, uh, no unauthorized access. Now, this kind of brings us into the discussion around the trust paradox. And when I talk about trust, the trust paradox, it essentially is to be able to trust cloud computing, you need to be able to trust it less. And this statement came from a series of blogs that Anton Chewbacca and I uh, published last year um, to talk about this whole trust paradox. And essentially, um, whenever you put your, your or use a cloud, you're inherently putting trust into the cloud provider because really you're using the cloud provider's infrastructure, network, you're relying upon their operations and everything else. And as you start bringing more and more sensitive data up to the cloud, then this level of inherent trust may start to make you feel more uncomfortable. And so here at Google, we've done certain things like introducing technologies to help you reduce that level of implicit trust and increase the amount of comfort that you have in our cloud. And so we're specifically talking about things like Cloud External Key Manager or EKM that allows you to encrypt and protect data that you have in our cloud with a key that's completely held outside the cloud under your control and possession. Or things like confidential VMs, which allow you to encrypt and protect data in use using a key that's generated and protected by the, the hardware itself. And in this case, we're using AMD SCP technology. Now, with that said, our solution to this is to actually introduce a concept of ubiquitous data encryption. And what I mean by ubiquitous data encryption is that the, the data that you have will be seamlessly encrypted at use and rest and transit with keys that are under your control. And Google is the first cl major cloud provider to provide this technology to, to our customers. And so as you can see in the diagram to the right, that as the data transverses throughout the system through cloud storage or, or compute engine, that it's going to be only visible to you, the person who owns the data. And that's what the green box is supposed to depict. It's supposed to represent the fact that the data is going to be protected and only the person who owns this data should have the, the, the ability to actually have visibility to the actual plain text. Now, obviously with ubiquitous data encryption, you get a set of advantages. Uh, number one, primarily, is that you get to control your data regardless of whether it's in storage, in memory, or in flight. And then number two, you still get to take advantage of the power of the cloud. So in this case, you're still able to use our cloud storage, our compute engine, and run all your workloads with, with very, very little or no limitations at all. And all of this is going to allow you to actually reduce the level of implicit trust that you have in Google. And that's something that's going to be very, very beneficial to you. Now, we have the, the great fortune of having worked very closely with Deutsche Bank uh, on this feature, who have been very, a very um, interested and, and a very um, engaged partner with us. And so we're very lucky to have Dorik Schneider, who has agreed to actually talk a little bit more about this ubiquitous data encryption with us. So Jörg, tell us a bit about your company and its partnership with Google Cloud. Thank you. Let me first introduce myself. My name is Jörg Schneider and I work as a crypto architect in Deutsche Bank in the chief security office. 
Deutsche Bank is the leaning German bank with strong European roots <clears throat> and a global network. The bank focuses on its strengths in corporate bank, private bank, investment bank, and asset management. Like many financial institutions, Deutsche Bank is on its cloud journey. We have formed a strategic partnership with Google last year. There are many benefits coming out of that partnership for us, for example, enhanced efficiency, elasticity, and resilience provided by GCP. Forming this partnership is a unique approach for us, as well as for Google. We use this framework also to co-innovate, and this work that we're presenting today is actually one of the first results. I see. So what are some of the security considerations you have when moving to the cloud? Let me start by saying that protection of customer data is absolutely paramount for Deutsche Bank. In order to protect this data, the state of the art is encryption of data at rest and in transit. While data is being processed, while it is in use, the state of the art is a combination of security controls, non-cryptographic security controls from different domains, including identity and access management, production change control, security monitoring. GCP provides excellent support for all of those security controls, and this is one of the reasons why we have partnered with them. We were really excited when Google introduced confidential virtual machines last year, as they allow us for the first time to process data while it is securely encrypted. Even better, this great feature comes without performance uh, impact and the need to change our applications. So confidential computing pushed the boundary of the state of the art uh, for data and use protection already. We quickly realized together with Google that we can take this one step further by combining data address and data and use encryption. The result is ubiquitous data encryption that we present today. I'll stop here, not to steal the, the thunder from Anoush and Ilsung and let them explain in more detail how it works later on. That makes sense. And what are the benefits for you for using ubiquitous data encryption in GCP? For us as a financial institution, ubiquitous data encryption has clear benefits and we're very excited about it. First and foremost, it increases security further by taking control over data and cryptographic keys to the next level. Second, it helps us simplifying application architectures. So in the past, we had to build encryption into our applications to achieve the highest security level. Now we can let the cloud infrastructure safely handle the encryption for us. This means less complexity, faster time to market. So we have the best of both worlds, security and simplicity. And last but not least, it makes it much easier to show that we retain control over our data in the cloud. We can point to a single cryptographic control rather than to a long audit report to demonstrate that. This is particularly important in a regulated industry as ours. In summary, I believe that the clear security benefits combined with ease of use uh, will make the solution the new standard going forward. Thank you so much, Jörg. And now I'd like to turn it over to Anoush, who's going to talk a little bit about how it works. Thanks so much, Yelseng. In the second part of this talk, we're going to do a deep dive on the technical side. We're also going to see a quick demo. All right. When we thought about how to build ubiquitous data encryption in GCP, our high-level idea was to actually create a key that encrypts your data in cloud and making sure that the key is only accessible on a confidential computing environment. Because confidential computing environment encrypts the memory of your environment at runtime with the key that is generated by the CPU, this should deliver the, the true promise of ubiquitous data encryption. With that, it feels like the solution has to have four components. The first one is a client-side encryption decryption tool that basically encrypts your data outside the cloud. The second piece would be a management solution to protect your keys and making sure you can create and enforce policy on that. For example, the data is only decryptable in a confidential VM. The third component would be a key distribution attestation mechanism, which provides a scalable and a secure way of sharing the key with a verified confidential VM. 
And lastly, you need the tool to perform encryption decryption on the confidential VM side. Now, currently you have to build all these solutions on your own and manage them on your own with your team. With our solution, we move to provide this solution in a seamless way for you, such that you don't have to worry about these four different pillars. More specifically, Google provides a client-side encryption decryption tool that you can use as part of your application. Through our partner program, we'll talk a little bit in the next slide, uh, we provide a managed solution to, to protect your keys, enforce policies, and distribute them securely to the cloud. And lastly, Google also provides you with um, a tool that you can use on the confidential VM to do encryption and decryption. The good news is that the tool used on the first bullet and last bullet are the same thing. So going back to the diagram that Ilsung showed you when introducing ubiquitous data encryption, Basically, the idea is to create a key index on key manager as shown in this diagram and make sure that it encrypts your data as it moves out of your uh, trusted boundary, for example, on-prem. If you're an existing EKM customer, this diagram is very familiar. What is actually new over existing external key manager solution is the fact that now that your, your, your EKM is verifying the attestation that comes from the cloud VM before releasing access to the key. And this is what allows us to deliver the true promise of ubiquitous data encryption. I'm very happy to introduce STAT in GA today. STAT stands for Split Trust Encryption Tool, and it provides a seamless client-side encryption decryption as part of GSUTL when you do uploads and downloads. It is available at GitHub at no extra charge, and it also performs as part of the encrypt and decrypt flow cryptographic attestation that the VM that is requesting access to this key is a confidential VM. And one of the more advanced feature of the, of the tool is the ability to split trust across multiple key managers to help, sure, to help prevent unilateral access to your data. We're also happy to announce that our EKM partners, specifically Talus, is now in preview. So you can use their product in conjunction with our uh, uh, stat to perform ubiquitous data encryption. And for Tanix is coming later um, this year. We have more partners lined up down the road. Now, what are the properties of a solution that you can achieve with, with this end-to-end? -end? First one uh, is the split trust model, right? With the split trust, uh, you have guaranteed that the third-party key managers, including Google Cloud, cannot decrypt your data in plain text. Right? The idea is to, make, to split the keys that are used to create the encryption key across multiple key, man, uh, key managers, and an access to the key requires all of them to be present. The second one is the availability of an encrypted and attestation-bound communication channel between your externally hosted HSM and the confidential workloads. This is built on top of existing TLS channels, so benefits from it, 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 it enjoys all the benefits of a TLS, in addition to having attestation guarantees on top. You can think of it as a, as a chip to the cloud secure communication channel. And lastly, the actual policies and the keys are enforced by the external key manager. This is actually where the trust comes in play because they're defined and managed outside the Google and not available to Google. With that, let's see a quick demo. Okay, we start by showing the client-side encryption capability of STAT. For this demo, we have set up a VM outside cloud and installed GSUTL and STAT and configured STAT to use a key that is managed by Talus External Key Manager. In this YAML file, you can see the URI to this key here. We've also created a secret file containing a hello world that needs to be protected, as you can see in this example. We use GSUTL with STAT parameter to upload this content to the cloud. This natively encrypts the content as it goes and download, upload to the cloud. So we switch to Cloud VM Next, which has the same GSUtil and STAT tool installed with a similar YAML file to use the STAT tool. First, we try to download the file without using the STAT parameter. As we look at the content of this file, you can see that it's fully encrypted. Next, we try to do the same thing, but this time we use the STAT parameter as part of the GSUTL, which under the cover reaches out to the external key manager and decrypts the content. As you can see, the content of the file is in clear text. 
In the second part of the demo, we switched to add a security property to make sure that the access to the encryption or decryption key is only limited to a confidential computing or a confidential VM, which is important for achieving ubiquitous data encryption. Let's switch to the Talus Cloud Key Manager portal and navigate to the property page of the endpoint. Here you see two options. In the first option, it's important when egressing data from cloud to on-prem to make sure that the data is only created by a confidential VM. The second option is more important for when ingressing data to the cloud to make sure only a confidential VM can access a decryption key, which is what we need for this demo. We pick that and click on Save. Now that you configured your external key manager, let's switch to the original VM and see if you still can access the content. As you can see, the access fails with the error message that actually comes from the Talus external key manager stating that the VM was not able to generate the attestation statement required to access the data. And if we switch to the actual confidential VM and run the same GIS util with the same state parameter, you can see that because the VM can generate the attestation, the downloads succeed, and the file is now in clear text. And just like that, you achieve ubiquitous data encryption with a tool that natively and seamlessly integrates with your existing data pipeline flows. Great. Now, to sum it up, with ubiquitous data encryption, you can actually run your application and data computation and GCP and still reduce your implicit trust in Google. And in general, if you have sensitive data that are using GCE VMs for computation, we recommend using ubiquitous data encryption for a better protection. And lastly, we want to tell you that this is something inevitable. More specifically, the way you think about TLS today is in server identity. It is a common thing. It is something that everybody does. But 10 years ago, it was not the case. We predict that the ubiquitous data encryption is going to become the de facto standard for data protection in cloud. So with that, we recommend you start early your journey of moving to ubiquitous data encryption. There are other talks in Cloud Next that you can tune in to learn more about encryption of your data in cloud. And there are two links that are noted here. There's also more documentation that you can read through for better understanding of the product. We appreciate you tuning in and looking forward to hearing from you more.